With our latest release, you can use the DevExpress ASP.NET panel control to build adaptive ASP.NET web pages to address different browser sizes. Here I have an ASP.NET Web Forms web application. In the default page, I have a DevExpress menu control, a page header, and some HTML content. Let's take a look at this page in the designer, and then run and view it in the browser. Take a look at the menu at top. It scrolls with the page and is hidden when the page scrolls down. I'd like to make the menu stick to the top of my page and make sure it's always visible. To make the menu always visible, I'll dock it to the top side of the browser screen using the panel control. I drag the ASP.NET panel control from the toolbox and drop it onto the page. In the properties window, I set the panel's width to 100% and set the fixed position property to Windows Top. This is all I need to do to get the content in the panel control to maintain its position at the top of the web page. Now I'll drag the menu into the panel's content area. In the markup code, I'll also move the page's title to the panel so that both items will be visible during scrolling. Let's view our website in the browser again. Now we have the panel fixed at the top of the browser screen with the menu control in it. And when I scroll the page, the menu and title remain visible even when scrolling down the page. Another panel feature is the ability to collapse its content. To enable collapsing, I set the collapsible property to true. Let's take a look at the page in the browser. Here, the menu and the page header are hidden, and the panel is displayed with the hamburger button. This is the expand button that allows me to expand the collapsed panel content. The panel control can collapse and expand automatically depending on the browser screen size. I can define the browser window width that causes the panel's collapse, for example, 700 pixels. And let's take a look at the result. Now the panel is rendered in its regular state. When the browser width is less than 700 pixels, the panel collapses its content and returns to its regular state when the browser is wider than 700 pixels. When I expand the collapsed panel, the panel still displays the menu the same as before. However, now that the browser has less width, the menu doesn't look optimal for that width. We can fix this by changing the menu to a vertical layout. The panel's expanded template allows you to define the content that will be displayed when the panel is expanded. So, I'll add the same menu code here with the orientation property set to vertical. And I copy the page header and paste it to the expand bar template, so the page header will be visible even if the panel is collapsed. And let's take a look at the result in the browser. Now, when expanded, the panel displays the vertical menu that looks great for the small screens. And when the browser screen is large, the panel returns to its regular state and displays the default horizontal menu. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.